Hi everyone, we're going to be making the shaker bow. This bow is so much fun. You can put anything, um, little stickers, glitter. Please don't do like, like I did. I put way too many, um, sparkles. Okay. So first stitch the outline. And now we're going to be put two clear vinyls to cover the the big bow. If you're doing the 4x4, it's the same process. Um, just put two vinyls on top. This will create a pocket because remember, we're going to take out the stabilizer after everything. So stitch the... This is going to stitch half the bow that way we can put the glitter or in this case i'm gonna put um hearts and little things that i bought i'll link i'll leave the link below it's so cute this is a present um for my daughter for her birthday so she's in love with it. she's gonna love it <laughs> see the hearts and little bows and diamonds it, it's so cute Okay, so with a spoon or something that you can <laughs> um, open the vinyl and insert it between the vinyls. So that way it'll be in between the two vinyls. I should have left it like this. <laughs> I should have put way more than I did, but you'll see it. You'll see it at the end how it turned out. I decided to put more and I shouldn't have. Um, but the trick is to just put everything out of the stitch line. You don't want anything to break your needle. So I added more. And I made sure nothing was on between of my outline. And I hold it in place with my hands okay so now we can put this third step which will close <clears throat> our first bow our first part of the bow because now we have to do it again on the other side so the fourth step We'll create the half of the half of the pocket for the bow. And oh my god, this microphone. <laughs> I'm so glad I got it because I couldn't be making the videos if I didn't have this. The it sounds so horrible on the video before and I apologize for that, but we're improving. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take it out so you can see see it better. See, it created a pocket. And now in between the layers, that's where you put the, all the glitter or all the papers or yarn. or I, hmm, I think it look even pretty with pom-poms, but I don't know if, if they will fit. Maybe they were small ones. Um, you'll see at the end of the video why it's important to not put as many <laughs> as I did right here. Do not do that. Okay. So now we're going to do the same. So this sixth step is going to close the pocket. Making sure nothing's on the way. I really do not want to break a needle or my hand, so don't do that. <laughs> okay. 
Also, if you see, well, this is in the 6x10, but um, the you can do the smaller bowl. You can do it in, in clear vinyl as well. What you do is just put the complete vinyl on top of everything, and that will stitch really nice. But for this, I wanted to do something different. You'll see. So trim every anything if there's something in the way. You know, it looks so pretty. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring the the vinyl. Check this out. It's a Gabby's Dollhouse vinyl. I'm my daughter's gonna freak out. <laughs> and also I have to make one for my goddaughter as well for her birthday. So yeah. They're gonna love it. <laughs> I'll leave the link below where I got this from as well. So make sure to center it. I I ended up making um different like I had to cut it to make the centerpiece because I wanted to center Gabby so you can see her in the in the finished bow because it was way off before. So stitch the last step. Okay, so we finished the outline and now look how it looks. It's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> it shakes. Okay, so now it's time to cut. Okay, now let's trim all those th threads. I have a very detailed version of how to assemble the bow. It's the smaller bow it's pretty much the same steps always but I'm gonna show you really quick here how to do it as well so you can see that video on the top left also okay so here's how we're gonna do this I don't have tearaway stabilizer I should have got it um I haven't bought it um this will make it so much easier okay so let's see first Trim all those threads because they're going to show. So do your best so that nothing is showing. Remember, it's clear vinyl, so everything's going to show. So we're going to do our best um, to just clean it up here. That's why I should have bought a <laughs> tearaway stabilizer. I have to buy it. I don't. It's just I have a big roll of stabilizer. I just. I don't know if I want to buy um, different types, so unless I absolutely need it. Okay, so I'm using this. I mean, you can use anything, twi tweezers, um, really anything to just um, take out the, the stabilizer from inside. But see, there's some little... Um, Outside of it, I have to clean all of that up. But oh my god, look! <laughs> it shakes and it's so pretty. Okay, so now let's just trim it around. And this is going to be the same process for the other bow. If you can see in the background, I have it already cut in the centerpiece. My daughter is going to love this. I hope yours or your granddaughter or your or for a birthday present. I hope they love it as well. Okay, so now we have this this pieces. Okay, so we have the shaker, the smaller bow, the centerpiece, and the hair clip. Okay, so for the for the shaker to fold it, we have to make a little kind of a guideline in the middle that doesn't have much um, of what we put inside of it, so we can fold it better. See, like that. Like that looks um good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now let's glue it. 
in the middle. And now let's do the same for the other one, um, making sure that to leave a space. Make sure that the top, um, that the front of the vinyl, what you're doing, is the the colored, um, the colored thread. Because right now, <laughs> earlier I was gonna put it the other way, and I was like, no, the purple goes in the front. Okay, so I like how it looks. Let's uh, glue it in the middle. Okay. It sounds so good. <laughs> See, you don't need to put the smaller bow. You can also just leave it like this. It looks beautiful. And that way you can show more of the clear vinyl or what you have inside. But I really want to do this. Okay. So I'm going to do the same for this and I notice I'm way off and I can't see Gabby so I'm gonna re-glue it. Okay, now I can see her. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little more to make it more thinner. Since we have um, the clear vinyl, it's, um, it's, it's since it's bigger, it's gonna take more, more space obviously <laughs> okay so now let's glue the middle the same process for the smaller bowl on top i like to fluff it okay so the centerpiece glue the centerpiece and now um, turn it back while stretching it, like on the other video. That way I know there's no bulk in front of the bow. Okay, so let's glue the hairpin. And hold it while I <laughs> This is very important. I don't want it loose. I need to put pressure. Okay. So now we're going to glue the bottom. And stretching it and doing and going to do the same on the top. I might have to cut it a, a little bit more. Yeah. I cut it a little bit more. That's why I always want, like to leave a little extra just in case. Okay, so let's glue it and then close it again while stretching it. Making sure there's no um, extra glue. Like I have a little, I'm going to take it out. And oh my god. You made your shaker bow it looks so beautiful it looks beautiful so congratulations we did it <laughs>